There was no way anyone in New Orleans could have been prepared for the kind of opening day new coach John North and his Saints had awaiting them. Archie Manning did deliver a touchdown pass to Bill Butler. But for the rest of the day, Archie and his replacement, Bob Davis, had a somewhat difficult afternoon. Claude Humphrey and his Atlanta Falcon friends had an old-fashioned southern picnic, running back fumbles and intercepting passes, six in all, one for a lightning score by cornerback Tom Hayes. And then there was number 11, semi-forgotten taxi man, Dick Shiner. Art Malone was devastating with a downfield pass or with a goal line blast. But last week, Dick Shiner's favorite Falcons were his wide receivers. One of them, Wes Chesson, number 81. Dick Shiner's other wide receiver was dangerous Ken Burrell, a master of the delayed spike. One score was called back, but on two other occasions, Shiner made sure that Burrell could demonstrate his spiking versatility. In all, 10-year veteran Dick Shiner hit on 13 of 15 passes and three touchdowns. Thirty-eight points later, Shiner was replaced by number 19, Bob Lee, who completed four of seven. The final touchdowns were credited to unsung names like Eddie Ray and Joe Prophet. Despite six fumbles and two missed field goals, the Falcons still managed almost 700 yards in total offense and an eighth consecutive victory over New Orleans, 62 to seven.